वेलकम टू शांति पीसफुल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फंक्शंस हैविंग पॉइंट ऑफ डिसकंटिन्यूटी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ हैविंग द पॉइंट ऑफ डिसकंटिन्यूटी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव गिवन अ फंक्शन f of x is equal to phi of x in the interval alpha to c and xi of x where c to alpha plus 2 pi so this function is a 2 pi periodic function and in the interval there is a discontinuity at the point c so the function is look like let us say this is alpha and this will be alpha plus 2 pi so in this interval from alpha to c and c to alpha this is the function we will have so the question is to calculate the fourier series of this function and what is the value of this fourier series at this point c in this situation also we can calculate the fourier series of the function in fact at a point of finite discontinuity that means if the function making the finite jumps in the graph of the function the both the limit on the left that is the c minus and the from the right side that is f of c plus so the limit from this side and this side that is c minus and c plus exist and are different because at this point the values are different at such point if you want to calculate the fourier series and it gives the mean value of this group that means the mean value of this group will gives you the value of f of c at the point of discontinuity we need take the mean value of the right hand limit and left hand limit let us solve one or two example of this and understand deeply what is this mean let us consider this function f of x f of x is equal to x if it is between 0 to pi and 0 if it is between pi to 2 pi i'll just note that this function having the discontinuity at the point pi and the fourier series of this function we can write down as a0 by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity am cos nx plus bn sin x and if we can just try to plot the graph of the function then the graph of the function in the interval 0 to pi and then pi to 2 pi in the interval 0 to pi as a function x so that's why it is this and the 0 pi to 2 pi is this So the graph of this function is look like this. If it is a period function, and what is the value of a zero here? A zero we know it is one upon pi minus. Sorry, the interval is zero to two pi. F of x b x. So we can split this integral into two parts. First part is zero to pi f of x b x plus the another pi pi to two pi. f of x b x. Now, in the interval zero to pi, it has the value x. So that's why it is one by pi integration zero to pi x b x. And the inter interval pi to two pi, it has the value zero. So this plus zero is there. Now, if we integrate this one, we'll have it is square by two. And uh, by two the limit, we have one by pi pi square by two. So finally, we have the answer pi by two. So your a zero is pi by two. Let us calculate what is a n. So one upon pi minus pi. So zero to two pi. F x cos n x b x. This integration will split into two parts. The first one is zero to pi. The value is x cos n x, and the other one is. Pi to two pi, the value is zero into cos n x d x. So finally, by using the integration by part, we we'll have it is x sin n x upon n minus one into cos 
n x upon n square and minus minus become plus. The limit is from zero to pi. If I substitute pi here, this quantity will become zero. This quantity is left so that we we can write down is minus one raised to n upon n square because of cos n pi is minus one raised to n. So if I put zero here, this quantity will become zero. Here we have the left quantity is one upon n square. So finally, the quantity left so minus one raised to n minus one upon n square n to pi. That is the value of e n is there. Now the value of b n is one upon pi. It is zero to two pi f of x sine n x d x. If we can split this integral into two parts, the first one is zero to pi x sine n x d x, and the other another part will become zero because the function is defined as this. And if we can just integrate this, which is x into minus cos n x upon n minus one. Minus x to the plus sine n x upon n square. If I put the limit zero to pi, so if I put the pi here, which we have, it is minus pi into minus one raised to n upon n. Sine n pi is zero. If I put zero here, that is zero, and sine zero is already zero. This pi is cancel out. So finally, left is minus one raised to n plus one upon n. So finally, the Fourier series we get it is f of x is equal to a zero by two plus summation n running from one to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. Let us substitute these values here. What is the value of a zero we have? The a zero value is pi by two, so that's why we can write down this is as pi by four plus summation n running from one to infinity. A and B have calculated is this minus one is pi minus one upon n square pi, so it is minus one raised to n minus one upon n square pi into cos n x, and B and we have calculated this, so that's why it is minus one raised to n plus one upon n into sine n x. Now suppose that the question was to calculate the value of this series at the point x is equal to pi because it is split into this. So what is the value of this function f of x at the point pi? So as I discussed earlier, that is the average value of its left hand limit plus it is right hand limit. That is the value of f of y, and you know that the function is defined like this. That is x if it is between zero to pi, and zero if it is between pi to two pi. Now the left hand limit we have it is pi, so that's why it is pi plus zero, because the right hand limit will be zero upon two is equal to f of pi. So f, that means f of pi is pi by two. This is the value of The uh, at the point discontinuity we get of this Fourier series. If we substitute this x is equal to pi into this Fourier series, we what we will get? We will get that f of pi equal to pi by four plus summation. So by substituting the value pi x is equal to pi, we get this. And you know that the cos n pi is minus one raised to n. And sine n pi is zero, and we have already calculated the f of pi, which is pi by two. So we have pi by two minus pi by four. If I take this pi by four on the other side, summation n running from one to infinity minus one raised to n minus one upon n square pi into minus one raised to n. The quantity is left. If I have this pi by two minus pi by four, we know it is pi by four. So hence you got this identity that is pi can be on the other side. So it is pi square by four, which we can write down n is running from one to infinity, one minus minus one raised to n upon n square. Because if I multiply this minus one raised to n inside, this will become one and this will become minus. 
then if I put n equal to 1 here, then it will be 2 by 1 square, n equal to 2, then it will be 0, so this next term will be 2 by 3 square and so on. So finally you will get is 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 upon 5 square equal to 5 square by 8. Let's okay, solve one more example. Let's say define the function f of x. If your x is between 0 to 5 and it is 2 pi minus x if your x is between pi to 2 pi. So here also the discontinuity at the point pi in there. And if you want to define the value of that, that you can define by taking this left hand limit and the right hand limit of the function divided by 2. So that's why the left hand limit is pi and the right hand limit is 2 pi minus pi upon 2. So the finally we will get the answer is pi. So if you want to calculate the Fourier series, then we need to calculate the Fourier coefficient where a0 is the summing nothing but the 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. So in the interval, this integration has split into two parts. The first one is 0 to pi x dx plus pi to 2 pi 2 pi minus x dx. And if we can integrate these quantities, we can have this is pi square by 2 because the integration is x square by 2. And if I put the limit, we will have pi square by 2. Plus here we will have 2 pi x minus x square by 2. The limit is pi to 2 pi. And that quantity we will have it is put 2 pi here, then it is 4 pi square minus pi square by 2. If I put pi here, this is minus of 2 pi minus pi square by 2. This is 4 pi square by 2. And if you simplify all this quantity, so finally the answer will be 5. That you can verify and check. The next quantity that we need to calculate is an, which we can say that it is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x so is 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx and this is 1 upon pi 0 to pi fx is x into cos nx dx and fy will means in the interval pi to 2 pi will have this 2 pi minus x cos nx dx. Now we need to apply the integration by parts here. So this 1 upon pi is multiplied with both this quantity. So that's why we have it is x sin nx upon n minus derivative of x is 1 and integration of this one will become plus cos nx upon n square and the limit is from 0 to 5. Here also we have the same type of technique that is 2 pi minus x sin nx upon n plus minus x minus cos nx upon n square but this quantity will be already minus. The limit is pi to 2 pi. Substitute pi here, sin n pi is 0, cos n pi is left, so that's why it is 1 upon pi minus 1 is 2n upon n square is there. If I substitute 0 here, this will become 0, and this is become 1 upon n square. So that is the first term we will have. If I substitute 2 pi, this will become 0. Here, this is minus 1 is to 2n so it is 1 upon n square is there because cos 2n is there 2n pi is there so that's why it is 1 upon n square but it is of minus sign the put pi here we will have it is pi into sin n pi sin n pi is also 0 so that's why this quantity will become 0 and if I put pi here it will be minus 1 that is minus 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 3 times and 4 times minus 1 so that's plus sign minus by upon n square is left. And hence you just know that 
what is the quantity is two times of this whole quantity there. So that's why it is two by pi minus one raised to n minus one upon n square. The final answer for n. Now there is no requirement to calculate p n. Why? Because your function. Let us try to see the graph of the function. The graph of this function is x. It is interval zero to pi. And it is 2 pi minus x if it is interval pi to 2 pi. Now, what is the graph of this function? If this is your pi and this is 2 pi. In the interval 0 to pi, this is the graph. And pi to 2 pi, we have this the value at pi, we have it with value pi. So that's why right, we have this. And the value of pi is zero. So the graph of this function is this. And this is a periodic function. So you have this is the graph. So by looking at the graph, you can just say that it is an even function. Because even functions are always symmetric around the y-axis. Like this square. The even function is always symmetric about y-axis. And whenever the even function is there, your Vn is 0. That you can verify if you want. But by doing this, we also can conclude that the Vn is 0. Hence, you will have your f of x, which is a0 by 2, which is pi by 2, minus 4 by 5, into cos x plus 1 upon n square cos x plus 1 upon 5 square cos 5x and so on at the policies. So in this video lecture we have discussed about the how to calculate the value of function at the point of this continuity for the positions. That's it for this video. If you like this video please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question please drop down in the comment box below. See you next video. Till then, bye bye. Sign up.